first one he wouldn't admit to throwing a rock, and that's just one problem. I haven't been able to divide the school into grades because I have to see each grade together regardless of sex, but each child keeps telling me over and over. No, ma'am. I can't sit next to no boy. This ain't no court in school. My pa will take me out if you make it a court in school. Exactly. Stand firm. Grades together. They'll get used to it. And where do I begin to correct English? Sometimes their grammar is awful, but I would hate to lose the traditional way they speak. And why do they insist on being taught Latin when they just need the most basic subjects? Because they're what they call long-headed. Stubborn Scots and equally flinty Irish and German. Some of the children have trouble concentrating. I think it's because they're hungry. And they have bad vision. They didn't tell you that. They're much too proud. No, they didn't tell me that. But their eyes are bloodshot and they shield them from the light. And then there are the pigs. Farmers around here let their pigs wander free to fatten up on what they can find. Well, they don't help my teaching efforts one bit. Twice today, they nearly drowned me out. It isn't in the curriculum at Teachers College. The solution is speak up. Miss Alice, I don't know what to do about Lundy. <sighs> David said there's a feud. Is that why he wanted to hurt Mountie? Probably not. The Taylors and the O'Teals are generally friendly. Then he did it out of pure spite? And as a challenge to you. <laughs> <laughs> 